And hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of the Shadow Side playing Avorian. Now, last episode, we basically got the very beginnings of the Favor House Atlantic up and going, and the resource depot needs 22 22k in iron, and they will resource re bleh, 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 reward us generally, generously for doing that, and they need it within the next half hour. And fire engine's just gone to wherever the fuck the fire engine was off to. I don't know, I'm upstairs, I've got the curtains closed, I am in my own little world. So they need 22,000 iron. And a little voice in the back of my head is going, yeah, you can have your iron. After I'm finished with it first. Um. Right, so I've just nommed my way through another asteroid, and you can already see how much more effective these mining turrets are than the ones that were on my original drone. Something to do, if I remember correctly, with the quality. No, it's the efficiency. They are 33.7% efficient. Oh, there's another titanium one there. Nice! I don't have to feel so bad as about selling my previous titanium off. Um, yeah, their efficiency dictates how much you get from mining the material. So the efficiency of these mining lasers is considerably higher than the efficiency of the ones on my drone. But the ones on your drone are the ones that everyone has to put up with at the start. It's a case of you have no choice. You have to put up with the efficiency of these things. They are your only way of gathering early game resources. Um, so, we will chew our way through this asteroid. The Rapturous Abandon. And now we will chew our way through this asteroid. Now hopefully we should get a lot more titanium out of this one. Uh, so let's see, it was 7,000 odd when I started mining it. Because what I'm thinking is, is if I can get enough titanium, I may put an integrity field block inside the ship before I finish it. And if I'm incredibly lucky, I might even make my engines or my thrusters out of titanium because they'd be better than the iron grade ones. But that's still something that I am debating in the back of my head, but I'm saying out loud for the sake of you guys. Because I'm also going to be able to afford the credit cost of these. Although I may, if I can get enough credits, be able to afford to buy back my previous titanium. Especially if I can get 22k iron. Oh, it's, it swings and roundabouts, being able to decide what is the best way to go about doing things. I needed credits to finish this, as it stands, to get it operational. But now I need credits and material, and I'm left in a toss-up between which one is more essential, and how do I use what to get both. I know shortly I may, with my cargo base on board my ship, be able to do some trading, and if I can do some trading, that will be a good way to work out the cash. Right, now, the sergeant's button is tingling up there. Crew morale is still 100%, even though it's telling me I need a sergeant, so they're not actually as essential as I thought they would be. So let's go and just chew up some more resources for now. If I'm lucky, I may be able to do that 22k iron thing that they wanted. No, 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 no! Oh, that was fucking close! Conservation of motion is a bitch. In fact, I might even go out of my way to deliberately replace those iron multi-thrusters with specific directional thrusters. Oh, we 
are getting uh, Mayday, but I can't do anything about that. Under attack from pirates. Yeah, I cannot help you. My ship is made of tissue paper. If I had armour and a little bit more capability, I may even think of helping you. But right now, you're a lost cause, mate. I'm sorry, but it's down to the local to help you. So, show our way through another iron asteroid. One thing I forgot to check. Iron mining turrets. Okay, so they're not double mining turrets. Wait, what did I just do? They're just plain old iron mining turrets. So I've rather stupidly thought for a second if they were double mining turrets, but I put them in a turret that only has one. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Words, Craig, brain, scythe, brain, words, brain, use double mining turrets in a weapon that only has one thing. Does that impede them in any way? I'm not actually sure what differences the, the turret designs can create other than aesthetic ones, so I may need to ask for people to point that out for me. A little bit of help here and there, just to figure out what I'm missing or what I haven't learned yet. way the mining weapons work visually in this and the way that they're kind of implied to chew things apart it is a very homeworld-esque feel it's akin to uh 
the resource collectors from the original Homeworld slash Homeworld Remastered. Little part of my brain is going, I wonder if I should just, you know, design one of the original Homeworld um, resource harvesters just as a mining ship. Right, so wait for conservation of motion to kick in. somewhere else. Why do I have to live on a high street? Uh, right, that's just about 3k or so I have to go and collect. Deliver it to the resource depot. Go and get some lovely cash. Use cash to come back to the crystal mine to pick up sergeants. Use any leftover materials I may or may have may or may not have at my disposal to improve ship. The reason why I said sergeants is because I may need to buy hire extra crew after upgrading my vessel, so probably be best getting two sergeants now rather than going backwards and forth, going, Oh I need another way later. So we're up at two thousand Two thousand two hundred iron, or rather twenty two thousand iron. Done. So, where is the resource mine? Looking for there you are, resource depot. So, let's push the button. Go to Ludicrous Speed Captain. Wee Okay, yeah, that's boring and annoying now I'm gonna stop. It's one thousand five hundred and nine meters a second for what is reasonable length of time for hitting the go faster button. Before we then dip back down to our regular cruising speed of 337 meters per second. dock. So if we go to trade materials, deliver 22,000 iron, sell. 1,700. Jesus. Okay, so let's buy back my 502 units of titanium. Drop in the ocean. I'm going to go back 
into the building mode. Now then. Bleep, bleep. Titanium energy field generator. So let's keep an eye on the amount of power that I'm producing versus the amount of power that I'm going to need. So we'll stick that in there. Drop in the ocean. And we'll stick that in there. Cool. So we're going to go and hop over to titanium thrusters. One there, one there. Oh, fuck's sake, I didn't put it on mirror X or mirror Y. Bleep, bleep. Bleep. So, titanium thruster, titanium thruster. Titanium thruster, titanium thruster. Now, we are going to delete our iron engines. Replace them with titanium ones. Merge selected blocks. Merge selected blocks. So we've now got a reasonable amount of speed, reasonable amount of this, a reasonable amount of that. Now stick some directional thrusters on the nose just behind there. So I'm going to stick just one last engine. Turn off mirror. One last engine over there. Okay, so we now need a little bit more power generation. So... Which block were you? Hi, I'd like to know what you are. You're the energy container, which means our generator is underneath. Okay, so shrink that back down to normal block size, please. Stick a generator in. So we're producing that. We require that as well. Let's. Should I produce a little bit more? No real harm in producing a little bit more power. Okay, cool. So we now. a bit of everything. Uh, ship has low morale. Okay, okay. So where are we? Where are we? 99% morale. Right. Hire crew. Well, let's hire one more engineer. More engineers, more miners, so uh, more mechanics. One, two. So we should only require two sergeants, and we're in the good to go. So we need to return to the crystal farm. Yeah, I'll go faster button and hit 2,004 meters per second. That's pretty good. So we've got mining turrets, we've got a main gun turret. We've got our directional thrusters. You've got our engines. We've got integrity field generators, which increase the strength of all the blocks that surround them. So in theory, the only thing the Favour House Atlantic needs, just to keep everything in good running order, is sergeants. And then we can begin having a look at what else we can do to the externals of the ship, basically. So we've got some pretty good braking speed going on. It doesn't take us long to slow down in order to dock them with those forward-facing thrusters. 
Okay, so, hire crew. We're gonna go ahead and hire two sergeants. My ship is weak compared to others in this region. Well, let's just move away from our docking platform. And let's see what we can do about that. Now then. Got 140 titanium. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go to titanium answer, uh, armor. But I'm going to scale it down to the thinnest possible layer. field generator both of them together Titanium to cover all of this shit. And this was with me trying to be clever. Uh, right, so we've got two exposed generators. As well as most of the underside of the ship being exposed. So we just need to find some more titanium and we can deal with that. But for now, because we already have our yellow turrets, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and give the Favour House Atlantic the tiniest bit of a paint job with this yellow cross stripe running through middle of the ship. So, the underside of the ship is completely unarmoured. We've got generator blocks exposed and framework exposed, but we can mine, we can move, we can fight, and that's far too close to comfort. But I'm going to go and see if I can help fighting off these pirates as we go. So, fuck me, is that a torpedo? Okay, I have to be careful. See you all in the next episode. Tara for now.